Hi everyone, I'm back and we're going to be doing a pour with the new pouring medium and Winsor & Newton in pretty, pretty colors. So first off, thanks all for the um, support of my channel. If you have uh, sent me some sponsorship funds and you don't see yourself on the list, please slip me an email. And you can email me at riddehoffart at ziggo.nl. So uh, what I mixed up today is uh, this this color. It's permanent rosé. It's transparent, and the number is 502. Then we have, of course, the permanent green light, which is also transparent. It's number 483. But what I like to do is add a little bit of yellow. As you can see, a little bit of yellow and a little bit of titanium, and that sort of make, makes it into a different color, more like sap green leaves, something like that. Then we have uh, the Windsor Violet, which is also transparent. It's 728, and you can lighten it up with a little bit of mixing white from uh, Windsor & Newton. And of course we have the Titanium, and we have the Permanent Rose with Titanium in it. That's just to give you a little bit of a lighter version. See that? This is the Pure. And this is with a little bit of titanium in it. So those are the colors we're going to pour with. It's going to make a nice and uh, nice and sort of a fun pour, we hope. Had to, had to make some room. Now we're going to add um, silicone to, I think, um, Let's see, what shall we do? I think I'll do only the colors and not in the white. That might be something different. So I'm going to be using my own pouring medium if I can find it. <laughs> I got this Vallejo pour, the silicone. Okay, got it. Whoops. Okay, you know, it's just the normal uh, Dimethicone 1000. So I'm going to be putting it in. The per oh, I did put some in the white, that's stupid. But in all the colors, and about four to five drops because they're pretty full. So then I'm going to give it a little stir. Like that, and the green. Now, uh, the mixture I, I used in this is um, the new pouring medium. That's this one. So let's put the lid on that we don't spill it. So this is the new pouring medium, as you can see, new formula. And I did uh, about 40% is in this mixture. 40% pouring medium. And then, um, of course, you have to add a little bit of water to get it to the right consistency. And that is that it pours off the stick like honey. Like I always say, warm honey coming off the stick. See that? It's not dripping, it's just pouring off. So be careful not to let it drip, especially with Winsor & Newton. You can do it with uh, the fluid acrylic, but not with the Winsor & Newton. This has to come off your stick in a nice, easy stream, then you're good to go. Now, we have all our colors mixed. We have uh, added the silicone, so now I'll go and get a cup. those cups here and we're going to be needing a full cup because I have uh, a 25 by 25 um, wait a minute I had a little bit of gook in there the the canvas I'm using is 25 centimeters by 25 centimeters yes that is new I haven't used that before I'm going to pour the darker over the lighter ro rosé I don't know how you call it, guys. Oh, I saw something plotch in there. I don't know what that was. And the green. Then add the purple again. But now I'm going to lay it just on top like that. So we have a full cup. And we're going to put that on top of our cup like that. And turn it around. Oop, that cup is really thin because look at that. I just pushed it in. 
and we're gonna release and there is gonna be a little bit of green popping up I can see that and don't worry about my bathrobe because this has already been um, transferred to my painting robe because I got, I got so much paint in it so we'll just let it do its thing should have had a corner catcher but okay we don't so we're gonna make it move Ooh, this one's gonna be fun and make it go over the side there it is and I think I'd like it just like that there's stuff going on and of course we're gonna get my torch Ooh, look at the things happening but of course we want some exploding cells and that's what we're getting look at that that's beautiful That is some nice webbing ha happening up here. I just might leave the corner as is and then do the same down here. Wow, that's a lot of cells. Now, another thing I want to talk to you guys about is um, I, I hear people, you know, they, they think that if you uh, just put silicone in the cup and don't stir that much, the cells will be bigger. Uh, what it really is, is the time that you torch and the time that you tilt that will make them bigger. Because if I were to tilt this now, I'll show you a little bit because I do want some of that off. Then those cells will get bigger and bigger. And that's really what you need to do if you want really huge cells. You be really careful and you just make them go see that how big these are because um, if you want them even bigger you release your cup and let it just level out just a tiny bit and then you come in and torch it and then you tilt it and then you'll have them even bigger than that but I kind of like what it's doing now because there's a sort of a motion in here that really appeals to me um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up but as you can see up here, it's going wow and up there and then here it's coming down here. So that's that's sort of what I look for. That makes it, you know, just that little bit more interesting for me that it's not totally cells, but it has some movement in it. So um, this is a kind of nice one. I'm going to keep this one. Now, as you can see, because this is, um, ooh, let me get a, a little brush here because I want to do the sides. Got to always, that is a good thing to do, you know, uh, do the sides as soon as you can because uh, that's important. And here's a little blob that I would like to make move down. Uh, when the paint is uh, just poured like this, you can uh, still do anything you want with it. You can manipulate it and paint on it and do whatever you like. You can add little drops if you like. Uh, that I'm not so fond about, but let's see if we can pick up some green. We'll just drop that in there a little bit more. And that's going to flatten out, but I just uh, thought that was a little bit too big to uh, to be a sort of a cell. A little bit more. Just drop it in and then I'm going to make sure that it levels out. There it goes. Now it's more interesting to look at. There's a little bit of purple needed here. There we go. Now that's it. That's all you have to do. And if you don't think it's interesting enough, what I always like to do is add just a little of that glitter stuff.
And I have one here that is um, a sort of a holographic purple color, rainbow purple. So I'm going to very subtle little bit of dusting of glitter over the purple where it's really purple. But not too much because uh, this one doesn't call for too much of that glittery stuff. There we go. That's enough. Just a little bit to give that. Oh, and up there. I want some up here. And I'm pretty sure this is going to dry, um, dry exactly like it is right now. Because um, I can see it. It stops moving after a while, and this is what it's going to dry into. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Don't want to overdo it sometimes. When you have a, a piece like this with a lot of stuff going on, you don't want to put too much uh, glitter on it. That might just, you know, overdo it. But as you can see here, uh, and I'll show you a close-up once it's dry, but there are so many beautiful cells going on with these outlines in them and there's no Floetrol in this mix so it does that <clears throat> it does that all by itself here I have a, a light purple in the middle then it turns to a very dark purple then there's a green outline and then a, a pink outline so that, <laughs> that is kind of amazing but I like what it turned into so we're gonna put this one away And we have some drip off that we want to use. So I'm going to get my palette knife and we're going to see what this is going to give us because I want to scoop it up and then add white to the top and see what happens. So I'm going to let it pour down. And of course you know that you can't manipulate the paint too much because then it turns into one color like we all know and i have shown i think a couple of times now even this this is this is pretty i'm pretty sure you can make something really pretty out of this with all these beautiful lines it looks like a a, a piece of stone something uh and actually up here it looks like one of those geodes that's really pretty. Okay, a little bit of white along the edge. Then clean off the palette knife. Whoops. Pretty much clean on the bottom as you can see. And then we're going to pull that over and take the torch and see what happens. There it goes. Look at that. That is really pretty and there's no silicone in the white well there is maybe one drop but i think i already used that so there was almost no uh, silicone in the white but this is pretty this is uh pretty enough to be made into some sort of a pendant or something like that so we're going to keep this one Then another one and I have a lot of people asking me what do you do with those all those papers well guys if you search on my channel and if you use a, um, a computer you will see uh, beneath your video you will see uh, a link to a, a keyword Excel list that is sometimes that comes in really handy brand Brenda made ma makes that she, uh, she puts a lot of effort into uh, the keyword list and I don't thank her enough for that because I'm pretty sure that's a lot of work. Um, so she made a keyword list in uh, Excel. If you go, uh, uh, if you're on a computer, you go beneath the video to more information, you will get a link to that Excel list. You can download it and um, she has keyworded every single video I have. So it's easier for you guys to, um, where's my little stick? So it's easier for you guys to 
keep track of uh, certain videos. You know, when it's about varnishing, you can uh, use the use that list to search for all the varnishing videos and uh, all kinds of stuff. So let's put that on there again. And there it goes again. This stuff is amazing. I'm real, really. I'm. I wouldn't push it that much if it wasn't. This stuff, the this that's new pouring medium, that sells like crazy. Almost automatically. I'm just pouring a little off because I see how this makes that swooping motion. I love that. It's just so much more interesting having these veins go all over the place like that. That is pretty. Get in really close. See that? That is really pretty. It's almost like butterfly wings, I think. And now we're gonna be, uh, because this has been on my paper and on my everything too many times. As you can see, it's turning into one color. So that happens. Can't help it. I'm just letting it run down a bit here and there. But as you can see, that is pretty too. Really, when, when you're doing these pours, there's not much you have to throw away, not really. You know, you can come up with so many different things to uh, use these papers for that I think, you know, just do that. It'll teach you uh, how paint reacts, and uh, it's really a sort of a learning experience. And then it's sort of relaxing too. Look at that. That is beautiful. Let's see if we just torch this one without swiping. Yep, there it goes. See that? That is, that is beautiful too. So we're going to leave this one as is. And as you can see, there's only a minimal uh, drip off now on the table. And if I do this a little bit more, you'll see that it is, turns into one color. See that? So you have to always be careful about how much you manipulate your paint before you pour. Otherwise you will get, and I've seen that happen to a couple of people, to the pores, that all of a sudden they get a lot of one color in it. That's because, um, or your paint is too thin. The thinner the paint, the faster this happens. And um, by... Uh, putting it in a dirty cup and then you know stirring too much you don't want to do that if you want to stir your dirty cup all you do is one swoop through all the colors that's it you can avoid it if you pour from up high and let the colors pour through the other ones in the cup then you don't even have to swirl it okay guys this is uh this was it i'm gonna put my old bag here and soak it all up that's how i usually clean it so like that okay uh, I have one more thing uh, that I want to uh, pass on and that is mm, in my shop <coughs> because a lot of people are asking about um, uh, the new pouring medium in England guys if you go to my shop I will send it to you use the discount code Europe 12 and these are all capital letters no space between the Europe and the 12 it's for the minimum order of 40 euros. Yeah, I gotta do that. But you will get a discount. Uh, this is my shop. That's where you find me. On the left hand side, you'll find a link to the web shop. And um, I'm gonna be um, cleaning up all the discount codes because I have so many discount codes. I'm gonna clean them all up and we're gonna go uh, and do the Europe 12 for everyone. So um, I hope uh, that's uh, good for you because it makes my life a little easier. And you know, sometimes I give out a code for a couple of weeks and then people come back and after a month and say, oh, the discount code doesn't work. So we'll ha have that all fixed. Everyone's gonna get the same discount code. It's gonna be Europe 12. 
that's it. Okie dokie, I'll put it on the first page of the web shop too, that everyone can use this Europe 12. So thanks all for watching guys. I love you all to pieces and I will see you in the next video. So laters.